Amazingly delicious fried pickles. You're gonna love this recipe and it's very easy. So get some good quality pickles and cut them into bite-sized pieces. Once you've got that all taken care of in a bowl, go ahead and uh, add one cup of flour, about a teaspoon of garlic powder. You can do onion powder as well if you'd like. Um, one teaspoon of paprika. And then of course, uh, a teaspoon of your favorite seasoned salt. Get that all nicely mixed together. Once you've got it all nice and stirred, get two scrambled eggs and uh, put them in another bowl and then put your pickles in the flour and then dip them into your little egg wash there and then put them into your breadcrumbs. I use panko breadcrumbs, but you can use any other type of breadcrumb you like. And that's what it looks like when they're all done. Next thing we're gonna do in a, into a pan, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get some vegetable oil. We're gonna go ahead and just fry them till they're golden brown. Shouldn't take too long. Once they're nice and fried, what we're gonna do is just scoop them out, put them on a paper towel so they can just uh, dry off a little bit. And once that's done, serve with ranch dressing or serve with anything you like. And they are absolutely delicious. Love these things. Mm -mm. Now, if you make these uh, bite-sized potato skins, they will be the talk of the party. There's no doubt about it. And they're really easy to do. Start with small red potatoes. I like these better. They just the skin's better. You don't feel like you're biting in two. Uh, you green onion as well and grated cherry cheese. But you, you don't feel like you're biting into a, a hard leathery skin. Wrap each uh, one of these potatoes up into uh, little aluminum foils. Put them on a tray. Preheat your oven as well because we're going to bake them. What you want to do is uh, when you get your oven to the temperature, you're going to bake it 425 degrees for about 45 to 60 minutes. Just little baked potatoes, but they're not this, they're not done cooking, by the way. Um, then we're going to get some bacon. Cook some good bacon as well. Once you, the, the potatoes are done, you're, gonna just, you're just going to split them and let them cool for about uh, 5 minutes, 10 minutes. And then you're going to scoop them out with a spoon. Once you've got the inside scooped out gently, uh, we're making our little reservoirs here. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually cook them again. We're going to fry them until they're golden brown. They're going to add that little element of French fry flavor. You know, it's going to have that beautiful French fry taste instead of just a boring, bland potato. They should kind of like look kind of like this. Once we got that all taken care of, just dry them on a paper towel. Let everything cool off a little bit. And then line them up on your pan. And we are going to get these uh, things going. So we've got them all lined up. So get your cheese. I use a good quality grated cheese. So meaning buy the block and grate it yourself. It makes all the difference in the world. Don't buy stuff in the bag. Get your bacon, put it on top. These are so good. I make these all the time. Bake at 350 well, for about 10 or 15 minutes. Once they come out, look at those things. Delicious. They are a hit, but they're not done yet. Remember our green onion? We're going to go ahead and just uh, finish them off with a little bit of sour cream, which I just put in a little piping bag I made out of a little Ziploc bag. I just cut a hole in the bottom of it. So we just sour cream them all. And then we go ahead and add our little green onion here. And you know what I love about this? They're one, they're very they're beautiful, but look at the close-up shot of this. Look how nice these things look. Mmm. Make these and you will never regret it. Let's get on to the next recipe. Alright, so with these uh, easy pork pot stickers, just use two globes of minced garlic, one teaspoon of minced ginger, um, and about a third of a cup of green onion. Once again, a very simple recipe, and uh, you're also going to use a half a teaspoon of five spice powder. I'll put a link down below uh, how to make it. It's real easy. Uh, about a pound of ground pork. You can even use ground beef. Uh, get some gyoza wrappers. You can get those at any Asian market. Uh, they're not even expensive either, and they make your job so much more simple. And then in a bowl, go ahead and put your pork. Crack an egg in that bowl with it as well. Add your five spice powder. Go ahead and add your onion. Add your garlic and ginger. And you can add about maybe uh, a teaspoon of soy sauce, some sriracha, and then get that all mixed together. And then in another bowl, what I like to do is this is our little cooking base here. I like to add some water to a bowl, uh, maybe about eight ounces, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and about a tablespoon of soy sauce here. This is our base that we're going to cook in, some uh, garlic chili. Um, or sambal oil, like it's the same thing, but basically garlic chili um, in a can. You just buy it at a, it's called sambal oil, like where I get it. So then you want to put some water around your little wrapper to kind of help seal the end of it. And then get everything nicely put in there. 
And then the first one may be a little bit, uh, things may start coming out the ends and the sides and so forth. So what you'll want to do is just feel what's going to work for you. And then what it'll maybe take one or two to figure out exactly how much you want to put in each one. Uh, if it's coming out the ends, then do a little less. Like this one, see, it comes out the ends a little bit. So if it does like that, just do a little bit less. And then you'll see as you make them, you'll have a much cleaner product. So once you've got it all crimped, all you want to do now is kind of like make little bends. And this is going to help seal everything together. Now this one is not the perfect example of a good one. You'll see as we go along after this one that things will get a lot easier or a lot nicer without such a mess. But just to kind of show you that even if you make a little bit of a mess, I don't sweat it. They eventually will look like this when you're done. Um, so just keep wrapping, crimping, same thing. Real easy to do. Get them all put on the pan. See, that one's much more pretty, right? And what I like to do is just pat the bottom because you want to have that flat bottom. Got them all close up here, ready to go. Now in our pan, we're going to put down some olive oil. And what we're going to do is just give them a nice little fry at the bottom. Not for long, maybe a minute, two minutes. Just really depends on the heat of the pan. Get a nice little crisp on the bottom of that pan. Look at that. See? And then the pan's hot now, so our little mixture that we made with the uh, Samba Olek and the cayenne pepper and the water and so forth, we're pouring that in the pan there. We're just going to cover it with foil or a top, and you're going to steam everything in there. Everything's going to reduce till there's basically nothing but the bottom of the pan and a little bit of flavor. They're ready to go. Put them on a tray. Serve them with soy sauce. Serve them with whatever you want. And uh, these will be the hit, a hit as well. That's how you make them. Pretty simple, right? Well, thank you so much for watching. You have a wonderful day and try making these appetizers. I think you'll really, really be impressed. Bye-bye.